Shalom, April 27th, 2024. God's blessing me like never before. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. It's about 8.03 a.m. Saturday, Sabbath, Shabbat. Hmm. One more, let's see. Still four more days of Passover. Today's the nineteenth of Nissan. Nineteenth of Nissan. 27th of April, 5784. Hey, just woke up and now I'm going to get into the word for a minute. <clears throat> Shout for joy, fair Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in your midst, declares God. God's coming. Shout for joy, fair Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in your midst, declares God. Shout for joy. And God says, and I myself, declares God, will be a wall of fire around you, and I will be a glory inside you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Then he says, proclaim further, thus says God of hosts, my towns shall yet overflow with bounty, for God will again comfort Zion and will again choose Jerusalem. He says, shout for joy, fair Zion, for I am coming and I will dwell in your midst. I myself, God will be a wall of fire and a glory inside it. And he said, proclaim further. Thus says the God of hosts, my towns shall overflow with bounty. For God will again comfort Zion and will again choose Jerusalem. Do it again, Lord. I said he's going to do it again. Thank you, Jesus. He said, he said, whoever you are, whoever you are, O great mountain, in the path of Zerubbabel, you will turn into level ground, for he shall produce that excellent stone, and it shall be greeted with shouts of beautiful, beautiful grace, grace unto it. Whoever you are, O great mountain, in my path, God's going to turn you into level ground and he shall produce that excellent ancient prophetic gemstone and that royal diadem and it shall be greeted with shouts of beautiful, beautiful grace, grace unto it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Say to them even further, thus says the God of hosts, turn back to me, turn back to me, says the God of hosts, and come home to me, and I will turn back to you. Do not be like your ancestors, for when the earlier prophets called to them, thus says God of hosts, come turn back from your evil ways and your evil deeds, they did not obey or give heed to me, declares God. Where are your ancestors now, and did the prophets live forever? But the warnings and the, and the decrees with which I charged my servants, the prophets, overtook your ancestors. And in the end, they had to admit that God of hosts purposed to deal with us according to our ways and our deeds. That is just what has been done to us. Hmm. Word of God came to the prophet Zechariah in the night. He had a vision and he saw a figure 
mounted on a bay horse, standing among the myrtles in the deep, and behind him were bay sorrel and white horses. I asked, What are those, my lord? And the angel who talked with me answered and says, I will let you know what they are. Then the figure who was standing among the myrtles spoke up and said, These were sent out by God to roam the earth. And in fact, they reported to the angel of God who was standing among the myrtles, We have roamed the earth and have found all earth dwelling in tranquility. Thereupon the angel of God exclaimed, O God of hosts, how long will you withhold pardon from Jerusalem and the towns of Judah, which you placed under a curse for seventy years? And God replied with kind, comforting words to the angel who talked with me. Then the angel who talked with me said, Proclaim, thus says the God of hosts, I am very jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion. And I am very angry with those nations that are at ease, for I was also angry a little, but they overdid the punishment. <clears throat> Assuredly, thus says God, I will graciously return to Jerusalem. My house shall be built in her, declares the God of hosts, and the measuring line is being applied to Jerusalem. And proclaim further, Thus says the God of hosts, My towns shall yet overflow with bounty, for God will again comfort Zion and will choose Jerusalem. Amen. God's about to overflow the bounty. Do it again, Lord. God will again comfort Zion and overflow the bounty. Speed up the spoils and the bounty in Jesus' name. You are, O great mountain, in the path of Zerubbabel. Turn into level ground, for he shall produce that excellent stone, that royal diadem, that ancient prophetic gemstone, and it shall be greeted with shouts of beautiful, beautiful grace, grace unto it. Then, uh, Zechariah looked up and he saw four horns and I asked the, the angel he asked the angel who talked with me what are those four horns and he replied those are the horns that tossed Judah Israel and Jerusalem then God showed me four smiths and I said what are they coming to do and the angel replied those are the horns that tossed Judah so that nobody at all could raise their head, and their smiths have come to throw them into panic, to hew down the horns of the nations that raise a horn against the land of Judah to toss it. I looked up and I saw a figure holding a measuring line, and I said, Where are you going? And he said, To measure Jerusalem, to see how long and how wide it is to be. But the angel who talked with me came forward, and another angel came forward to meet him. And the first angel said to him, Run to that agent and tell him, Jerusalem shall be peopled as a city without walls. So many shall be the people and cattle it contains. And I myself, declares God, will be a wall of fire all around it, and I will be the glory inside of it. Away, away. Flee from the land of the north, says God, though I swept you there like the four winds of heaven, declares God. Away, escape, O Zion, who dwell in fair Babylon. For thus says the God of hosts, who sent me after his glory, concerning the nations that have taken you as a spoil, whoever touches the pupil of their eye, whoever touches you touches the pupil of their own eye. For I will lift my hands against them, and they shall be a spoil for those they enslaved. And you shall know that I was sent by the God of hosts. Shout for joy, fair Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in your midst, declares God. And in that day, <clears throat> in that day, many nations will attach themselves to God, 
and become God's people and God will dwell in your midst and then you will know that I was sent to you by the God of hosts. Amen. Do it again, Lord. God will claim Judah as a special portion in the Holy Land and will choose Jerusalem once more. Be silent all flesh before God, for God is roused from the holy habitation. God is roused and he's coming. I was further shown Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of God and the accuser of the brethren standing at his right to accuse him. But the angel of God said to the accuser of the brethren, Satan, God rebukes you, O accuser. God who has chosen Jerusalem rebukes you, for this is a brand plucked from the fire. Now Joshua was clothed in filthy garments when he stood before the angel. And the latter spoke up and said to his attendants, Take the filthy garments off of him. See, I have removed your guilt from you, and you shall be clothed in priestly robes. Then he gave the order, Let a pure diadem made of gold be placed on his head. And they placed a pure diadem on his head and clothed him in priestly garments as the angel of God stood by. And the angel of God charged Joshua, as follows, thus says the God of hosts, if you will walk in my ancient past and keep my charge, you, you in turn will rule my house and guard my courts, and I will permit you to move about among these attendants. Hearken well, O priest Joshua, you and your fellow priests sitting before you, for those men are a sign that I'm going to bring my servant, the branch. For mark well this stone that I placed before Joshua, a single stone with seven eyes. I will execute its engraving, declares the God of hosts. And I will remove that country's guilt in a single day. God will remove the country's guilt in a single day. And in that day, declares God, you will be inviting each other to the shade of vines and fig trees. Then the angel who walked with me came back and woke me up as someone is woke from sleep. And he said to me, what did you see? And I said, he said, what do you see? The angel woke him up like from one vision and gave him another vision. And he said, what do you see? And Zechariah answered, I see a lampstand of, of made of gold and a bowl above it, and the lamps on it are seven in number, and the lamps above it have seven pipes. I saw a golden lamp stand in a bowl, and the lamps on it are seven in number, and the lamps above it have seven pipes, and by it are two olive trees, one on the right of the bowl and one on the left. And then I asked the angel who was talking with me, what do those things mean, my Lord? What does it mean? Do you know what these things mean? And the angel who talked with me said, he explained as follows. He said, this is the word of God to Zerubbabel, not by might nor by power, but by my Holy Spirit, says the God of hosts. Wherever you are, O great mountain in the path of Zerubbabel, turn into level ground, for he shall produce that excellent stone, and it shall be greeted with shouts of beautiful, beautiful, grace, grace unto it. And the word of God came to me. Zerubbabel's, Zerubbabel's hand, hands have founded this house, and Zerubbabel's hands shall complete it. Then you shall know that it was the God of hosts who sent me to you. Does anyone scorn the day of small beginnings? Don't scorn the day of small beginnings. Because when they see the stone of distinction in the hand of Zerubbabel, they shall rejoice. Those seven are the eyes of God ranging over the whole earth. And what I ask them are those two olive trees on the right and on the left of the lampstand. 
And I further asked him, what are the two tops of the olive trees that feed their gold through those two golden tubes? And he asked me, don't you know what that is? And I replied, no, my Lord. And he explained, those are the two anointed dignitaries who attend the sovereign of all the earth. Whoever you are, O great mountain in the path of Zerubbabel, turn into level ground, for he shall produce that excellent stone, and it shall be greeted with shouts of beautiful, beautiful, and grace, grace unto it. And proclaim further that thus says the God of hosts, My towns shall yet overflow with bounty. My towns shall overflow with bounty, for God shall again comfort Zion and again choose Jerusalem. Do it again, Lord. Amen, somebody. Shout for joy, fair Zion, for lo, I am coming, says the Lord, and I will dwell in your midst, declares God, and I will make myself a wall of fire around it, and I will be the glory of God inside of it. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. We're going to write a tsunami of glory and leave the dragon dead on the beach. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah.